From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Hello, I'm Irene O'Connor. Breaking overnight, a four-year-old child in Enfield has died after being hit by a pickup truck. It happened near the intersection of Brainerd and Fairlane Roads just about 5 o'clock last night. Police have identified the driver of the truck as Jonathan Riches of Enfield. They are still investigating exactly what happened there. Turning now to the coronavirus in Connecticut, the latest data from the state continues to show a decline in the numbers of confirmed cases and hospitalizations. 40 new cases of COVID-19 have been confirmed. Nine more patients have died and the number of people hospitalized with the virus now stands at 149. New Haven line commuters will have more trains to board this morning. Two new inbound and two new outbound trains are being added to the schedule. The increase in service, it all corresponds to the increase in ridership. Since New York began its reopening, riders must wear a mask while traveling on the train. All right, good morning, everybody. Let's take a look at uh, Futurecast. It is tomorrow's weather today. It shows us an, an hour by hour depiction. We're going to dot the landscape. You'll see here at 1 o'clock this afternoon, uh, we dot the landscape with a, maybe a stray shower, possibly a thunderstorm this afternoon, especially in northeast and southeast Connecticut. It's not too much of a big deal, but I need to throw that out there for good measure. You might see a little bit of a downpour. We're not expecting any severe weather, just a brief shower or a thunderstorm with some pretty amazing heat today. We're talking about uh, 91, 92 degree heat, and if we do get to 91 or 92 at Bradley, 90 or better it'll be official of the first heat wave of 2020 as we got to 92 on saturday 92 yesterday tomorrow 92 uh, another warm day tomorrow and humid with a chance for scattered shower and thunderstorm more of the same for wednesday a better chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms wednesday as a frontal boundary pushes into the area and then thursday is still a chance and then friday and saturday lower humidity but still quite warm temperatures that's a check of your early warning forecast i'm meteorologist scott haney from channel 3 Albertus news hoping you all have a great and safe monday Eyewitness News is everywhere. Get the latest in-depth headlines anytime on the Channel 3 streaming news app.